Hello everyone and welcome back. Let's build a computer desk. This is the picture I found to use as a reference and I will link it down below. First things first, let's import it and resize it to see better. I'm also going to get rid of this grid and start building this main desk with a cube. Let's move this picture away and adjust our cube a little bit more. I'm looking at the picture to decide where to put edges with the insert edge loop tool. put two edges at the both end of the desk because if we look at the image reference we see that these desk legs don't come from the edges. Now we can extrude faces. We should include this one as well. And the way I extrude in this case is that I press W in my keyboard to select Move Tool, then press Shift and extrude will appear near the arrows and move it down. We should also extrude back of the desk. Let's move the image to up to C better and it's time for drops. I'm looking again at the image to see where to put edges. I don't think we need the last edge. Let's undo and extrude these drawers. Okay, we have lower part of the desk. Next is the upper part and we should extrude these spaces. I made here a mistake, but I will realize it a bit later. We need an edge for the roof. Let's make it. We need two more edges for the top right drawers. And these two for left drops. Maybe we should move these edges a little bit as well. And now let's add another edges for the right drops. Now we can extrude faces. I missed to select a tiny face here. This drawers shouldn't be that low, so undo, do it again. I 
and now we can extrude the roof. And this is the part where I realized that I made a mistake. I shouldn't have extruded these edges that far and moving them didn't work. So what I did is that I inserted more edges. Then deleted faces. And you can see here we have holes which should be filled. So choose edge, double click it, go to mesh and fill holes. And I did the same for the other side. And now let's finish extruding other parts as well. And we should extrude this part as well as it is shown on the image. And this is it. What we can do now is to delete history and maybe give this desk some color probably you already noticed that these drawers are white on the image so I'm gonna select faces then choose white color for them To see how the final image looks, let's create a scene for this desk and this time I'm going to use Curve. I'm pressing Shift for the straight lines. And for the curve part, I'm trying this dots to be at close distance. Press enter when it's done. We also can adjust vertices or we can rebuild this curve by going to curves and rebuild to make it smoother. Let's go to perspective view and duplicate this curve and the desk should be rotated but we're gonna do it later. Select both of these curves and choose locked and now we can rotate this desk at 90 degree. This surface we just made is in polygon, this is not surface, so because of that we don't have the menu we are used to. So what I'm going to do is to convert this surface to polygon surface. Go to modify, convert and not to polygon. Reset tool and choose control points and apply. We can delete nerves from outline our menu and curves as well and now we can have polygon menu let's create light for this desk and i'm gonna choose look through selected to set it the way i want now 
Let's give intensity 500 or as much as you want. And I'm gonna select use color temperature and make it a bit orangey. I'm gonna create another light and do the same, maybe change color of the light as well. Render and this rose light looks a bit weird, so I'm gonna go back to white. Also, I'm gonna create another light and put it in front of the desk. Render this as well, and this is it. Let's wrap it up. Thank you for watching and see you soon.